My dad first joined the Columbus Police Force about five years ago in 2013. Everybody in my family was extremely proud of him that he was able to make it through such tough conditions in the police academy and become an officer, something he'd been wanting to do for a long time. Unfortunately, his job came with multiple risks that we were all well aware of, such as what if one day he did not come back from his job? Unfortunately for two families and many more in the Ohio area, this fear became a lot more realistic with the death of two officers in Westerville, Eric Joring and Anthony Morelli. The two officers were gunned down on a domestic abuse hang-up call that they responded to. They were murdered in cold blood simply because they were doing their job. Tragic instances such as this are prevalent across the United States. In Baton Rouge, Louisiana, three officers were killed by a former United States Marine in 2016. These three men were killed during a shooting spree that left several other officers wounded and fighting for their lives in hospitals. Being a police officer is incredibly dangerous, and the job comes with a lot of risks. Much of this risk can be attributed to the randomness at which events can occur. A simple traffic stop can suddenly become a battle for your life. Pictured here, an officer was attacked by a man with a rifle during a routine traffic stop. The officer survived, however, it could have gone much differently had circumstances been different. Sadly, officers do not even have to be doing anything in particular to be in danger. This image depicts a man attacking an officer inside of his cruiser. The man attacked the officer with a firearm. The officer survived but was hospitalized due to gunshot wounds. The officer was not doing anything in particular and had nothing to do with the suspect. He was simply fired upon for being in uniform. Not all instances such as this one end with the officer surviving, however. In July 2017, Officer Familia of the New York City Police Department was executed inside of her cruiser when a man walked up to her car and shot her in the head at point-blank range. The attack was entirely unprovoked and resulted in the tragic death of an officer of the New York City Police Department. Instances such as these and the sniper attacks in Dallas make it clear that police officers are being targeted simply because they are police officers. They are being targeted more frequently and this further raises the risk levels of an already incredibly risky job. Many factors contribute to this rise in risk levels. One such factor is the sudden rise of multiple anti-police groups such as Black Lives Matter. Organizations such as Black Lives Matter make the jobs of police officers much more dangerous as they threaten officers with violence and declare that officers are nothing but racist murderers. While many of these organizations claim that they are peaceful protest groups fighting for civil rights, this is often not the case. With chants such as pigs in a blanket, fry them like bacon, and what do we want, dead cops, it's hard to see that these groups are peaceful, and easy to see why officers would feel threatened by groups such as this. During many of these protests, protesters often destroy public property, light things on fire, vandalize buildings, and much more. These protests are often far from peaceful and pile on much more risk to the jobs of law enforcement officers. These protests are extremely dangerous to everyone that is near them, especially law enforcement officers, who are often the target of protests such as these. The reason these groups protest is often because they feel that police officers are racist and that they target specific groups and individuals while ignoring others on purpose. These groups believe that police officers target and kill people based on their race or religious affiliation. However, stats from multiple different sources, including the FBI, have proven that this is simply not the case. As shown here, only 13% of all people killed by police in 2012 in the United States were black, while over 60% of them were white. The number of white people killed by officers eclipses the number of black people killed in every single category, demonstrating that police do not simply target black people and kill them because of the color of their skin. Many people are led to believe that officers target and kill black people largely because of the way the media publishes stories and videos about police shootings. Videos of arrests or shootings are often shown on TV with very little context or a very little explanation as to what was actually going on. Videos of arrests or shootings are often posted on social media sites such as Twitter as well. Unfortunately, these videos often leave out crucial parts of the encounter and only show the arrest or shooting. This leads to many videos that make it appear that the officer arrested someone for no reason, and this in turn makes cops look like racist, hate-filled murderers. This is hardly the case. Cops are human beings like the rest of us. They have families, ambitions, and a unique sense of duty that drives them to do their jobs. Sadly, their job is becoming riskier as time goes on, and that is unacceptable. There are a lot of actions people can take to make the jobs of officers easier and safer, 
such as supporting local police departments or getting the full story about an arrest before posting on social media. If steps are taken, then the jobs of police officers will become safer and everyone will be able to rest a little easier.